Before starting with the actual problem statement, we should first understand the assessment instructions to avoid the unnecessary confusion. The assessment instructions provided by the NPTQ are that they will be providing you the code panel to code your solution. In that code panel only you have to provide your code. You can refer to the syntax under reference document section and you can use the sample input data provided with the question for testing the code. For testing more than one scenarios you can use your own input data. You have to save the code before switching to another question and to execute the code against the provided sample test cases you have to click on the run button. While submitting the each hands-on question you have to submit it individually to be considered for the final evaluation and only clicking on run and save button will not submit your code for final evaluation. So make sure that after checking all the test cases you will be click on the submit button to submit your code for final evaluation. Now let's move towards the actual problem statement that we will be discussing in this video. So the provided problem statement is this for a given positive number identify the palindrome formed by performing the following operations. So you have to identify a palindrome number and that will be depending upon the following operations. What is the first operation? Add number and its reverse. So you have to add the number and its reverse, right? So this is the first case that you have to deal with adding of current number and the reverse of that particular number and after that you will check whether the sum is palindrome or not. Okay, So you will check that the sum of the addition of number and its reverse is palindrome or not and if not then you have to add the sum and its reverse and repeat the process until you get the palindrome. Okay, So this is the provided operations that you have to perform till you reach to the palindrome number and once you reach to the palindrome number then your process will be stopped. Now see here sample input is also provided. So if I provide the sample input 124 my output should be 545 which is a palindrome number. Okay. So what is palindrome number? The palindrome number is a number who is having the reverse of that number is equals to the same as a number. Okay. So if I take the example 545, if you go with the reverse of this, it will be 545. So this is called as a palindrome number. If you talk about the single digit number, say sample input is 4 and the output is 8. So single digit number is always a palindrome number, right? Single digit is always a palindrome number. But while performing this operation, once you have to add it, right? Because the reverse of single digit will also be the same number. So in that case, 4 plus 4 four you have to perform and then eight will be my output right so you have to perform this process and you will get the palindrome number okay now let's check for the logic that we will be applying for to solve this particular problem statement and then we'll move to the actual code execution okay say for example 195 is the given number okay in this case so according to the instructions what we have to do so for example my value of number is 195 and I have to take the reverse of this particular number. Reverse is 591 and I have to add them num plus reverse of it. So 195 plus 591 whatever is the number that we will check for the palindrome. Okay, Check for palindrome. So in this way we will be applying the logic. So let's solve this particular example with taking num as 195. So I will add the reverse of it. The reverse is 591. So I will get 6, 9 plus 9, 18, 6 and 7. So you will get 7, 8, 6. But 7, 8, 6 is not a palindrome number because reverse of this is something different. So I will again utilize this number to perform the same process. So my current number becomes 7, 8, 6 plus I will add the reverse of it. That is 6, 8, 7. So addition is 6 plus 7, 13. 8 plus 8, 16 plus 1, 17. And it is 1, 4, 7, 3. Again my 1473 is not a palindrome number so I will be utilizing it again 1473 plus reverse of it 3741 and then add it 4 11 12 5214 now again 5214 is not a palindrome number so again reutilize it and repeating the same process so you might be getting this that I am just repeating the same process with the reverse of that number and adding it okay so 5 plus 4 9 this is 3 this is 3 and 9 so you got 9 3 3 9 and now 9 3 3 9 is my palindrome number
okay because the reverse of this is also 9339 so now you have to stop the process okay so in this way the logic of the palindrome number problem statement can be flow so now what you have to do at the time of coding you have to just take the number as a input perform the reverse part of it so we will be working on the string part so integer to string and then the parsing part will be done in the function of reverse and after that we will check with the current number and the reverse number if it is same then it will be treated as a palindrome number if not then the summation will be provided and the results will be putting into the while condition okay so that loop will be working multiple times so here if i my example is 195 after performing four times addition i got the palindrome number okay so sometimes you will get it in a one addition sometimes you will get it more than four addition okay and for single digit also as explained for example my single digit is 4 so i have to perform 4 plus 4 once and now 8 is a palindrome number because every single digit number is a palindrome number in this case okay so i hope you got the logic now we'll move to the final code execution in the infitq code panel for java okay now here is the code panel that we will be utilizing so if you click on the start and continue it will traverse through the provided interface here you can see the hansog questions are given if i click on the attempt section you can see our question identify palindrome so this is the question that has been given a positive number identify the palindrome formed by the performing following operations so we have performed the same case here with the given example and see they have also provided the sample input and sample output right so 124 and 545 in this case you can check so 124 is the input so i got the output as 545 and if 4 is my input i got the output as 8 okay and now here at the bottom part you can see the code panel is provided okay so in this code panel you have to execute your code okay so i will just uh, delete everything whatever is provided and i will write down the code line by line over here so whatever the logic that we have explained you try to figure it out and uh, map it with the code that i am writing you can have different way of logic as well but i would try to make it very simple for you to have a better understanding of it okay so just focus what i am writing import java so after that i will take a class palindrome then i will take a function that will be work for reverse x is my number and i'm using a string builder class because i have to deal with the string and integer object creation integer to string to perform the reverse part of it okay and what input has been passed as a x clear so now i will return the value after performing the parsing part clear with the function now i'll take another function to check for the palindrome condition is boolean so this will return me the value whether it is palindrome or not okay and how you have to do that i have to compare the current value with the reverse of it okay so this will be the logic of this particular function so you are getting it now the main function from where the actual code execution will happen
सो पैनल हेज प्रोवाइडेड यू द कोड विच इज नेसेसरी और यू कैन से इट एज अ प्रिलिमिनरी रिक्वायरमेंट सो यू कैन दैट एज वेल सो दैट विल बी ऑल्सो हेल्पफुल फॉर यू इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मेक इट एंटायरली योर्स देन यू कैन ऑल्सो मॉडिफाई दैट दैट इज ऑल्सो फाइन बट मेक श्योर दैट वेन यू एक्जीक्यूट द कोड योर आउटपुट शुड बी एक्जैक्टली सिमिलर एज वॉट द टेस्ट केसेस दे हैव प्रोवाइडेड एंड इट शुड सेटिस्फाई ऑल द टेस्ट वैल्यूज राइट so uh, your output should provide me the past results for that respective test cases okay so you know for looping condition i will be checking it that whether the reverse and the addition of the number that x is equals to x plus reverse of that number is palindrome or not okay so i will be utilizing this for multiple cases and whatever the value updated value i will be getting by the above statement i will be checking that value in the palindrome function okay so trying to make it very simple once it is done it will be great okay, okay. so now my code is ready i will be executing this code to check whether it is working fine or not so i will be clicking on the save button first and after that i will be click on the run button okay so let's check see the results the status of the test cases is being passed so this is important okay for this case after that you can check sample input was 124 and 545 is the expected output and our output is also 545 here one more option is provided that is provide input so you can provide your own input test cases here and according to that value also you can check your code say for example we have solved the logic of 195 so we will pass that as an input and we will click on the run button so let's see what happens when i provide the input value and for that input value the complied successfully status is there and whatever the output see 9339 this was the output that we have received at the time of logic explanation okay so in this way you have to submit your uh, uh, particular check your particular code execute it check out the status of the test cases and after that you have to click on the submit button okay so this was the final code execution and i hope you got the point of the logic that how the problem is been solved and how the code panel of inptq can be utilized to check out the test cases one more important thing that you should be taking care of that once you understand the question and the logic of that question properly you have ample amount of time so coding will not consume your more time so if you spend your 40 to 50% of time for understanding and reading the question in a proper manner try to analyze all the provided cases and the conditions that they have provided and according to that you build your logic of the program once it is properly done then within 10 to 15 minutes you can write down your code okay so this is the thing that you should keep in mind while solving the coding questions so i hope uh, you understand the logic for further updates do subscribe our channel and also you can join the whatsapp and telegram group for off campus updates thank you